In this video, we'll quickly go over static hosting in Xano, which is a way for you to host a front end right alongside your Xano backend. This is a great tool for quick prototyping if you're building with AI or even hosting internal tools. You could even host your public application using our static hosting feature, but it is important to keep in mind that it does not currently support server-side rendering or SEO. It's really just there for quick deployments when you need them. We give you a development and a production environment so you can test without impacting anything live. You're able to deploy different builds to different environments at any time, which really helps with the iterating and testing. You can use any modern front-end framework that you want, so that's React or TypeScript, basically anything that has a package JSON file in the root of the project, you should be able to deploy on Xano. What we don't support are server-side languages like Ruby, PHP, and Python. We can upload our front end into Xano in a couple of different ways. We can upload a zip file directly from Xano. We can connect a Git repository and Xano can pull our front end from there, or we can upload it from VS Code. I'm gonna show you how to do this right in Xano. So I'm gonna to go to my library and I'm gonna click static hosting. You'll always have this default static host here. We can go ahead and just use that and we'll click upload build here in the corner. We'll give it a name. I'm just gonna call this first build and you can give it a description if you'd like as well. We'll click next, and now we can put our zip file here. So now my zip file is uploading, and we can see that my build is right here, and it says it's pending. Now, Xano is actually building my front end for me. It's important to note, just in case you're not familiar, the distinction between developing and building. Developing is actually constructing the front end that you want your users to be able to access. Building is a step that comes after when you're actually ready to send your front end out into the world where it compiles the front end into languages that the browser can understand. So we're gonna click on our build here and we can deploy to our production or our development environment. I'm just gonna deploy to production and we can see that we are now building and this will only take a minute or two. And we can see our build has been published and we are ready to access it, which we can do by clicking this link right here. And so here is our to-do application that we're using to demo static hosting. If you want to connect a Git repository, we can do that as well. Let's go ahead and create a new site. I'll select that. I'll click upload build. And then we'll click this Git repository option right here. Now, all you need to do here is provide a URL to your Git repository. It is important to note that Xano will not uh, pull for new changes. Xano's not going to know if you make updates to your front end, so you will need to deploy a new build manually. If you're using our VS Code extension, you just want to make sure to create a folder in the root of your project called static. In there, you'll put all of the files for your static front end that you want hosted on Xano. Then you'll go to the Xano script extension panel here, and you'll just click upload static files, and you'll select the environment that you want to deploy to. That's just a quick look at static hosting in Xano. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, definitely let us know and keep watching for more on how to build with Xano.